Welcome to our guide to the rest camps in Kruger National Park. These are the camps we visited on our self-drive safari as we made our way from the south of the park to the north. Our first stop was Crocodile Bridge Rest Camp. We gave the facilities here a rating of 3 out of 5. The things to know about Crocodile Bridge is there's a basic shop which has basic foodstuffs and souvenirs. There's a coffee kiosk, there's no restaurant and there is a gas station. We stayed in a safari tent. It had two single beds, fridge, fan, small veranda and a braai. A braai being a South African barbecue. They had communal ablutions. Now these were spotlessly clean and they were clean everywhere we went throughout Kruger. There was communal cooking facilities, 24 hour boiling water, electric hot plates and washing up facilities. Your other options are camping, there's powered campsites which have braais, communal ablutions and cooking facilities. You can upgrade to a bungalow, two to three single beds, ensuite bathrooms, air conditioning, kitchenettes with hot plates and sinks. Fresh produce is not always readily available in the shops within Kruger. So if you're entering Kruger via Crocodile Bridge, then I'd recommend stopping at Nelsprut. It's about 100 kilometers from the entry to the park. But at least you'll find some good shopping there, so I would be stocking up on anything you need, especially fresh fruit and vegetables. Bergendahl Rest Camp. We gave uh, Bergendahl a rating of 5 out of 5. We really enjoyed our time at Bergendahl. Things to know about Bergendahl is a good shop and a restaurant, there's a laundry, swimming pool, and a gas station. Campsites start from around US $20 per night and bungalows from $80 per night. Now there's no safari tents at Bergendahl. We stayed in a bungalow there. We had three single beds, air conditioning, fridge, hot plate, ensuite, utensils and a braai. Now just with the air conditioning as it is with most of the huts throughout Kruger, sometimes it's good and sometimes it's just absolutely rubbish. It's a bit of potluck. Victoria Scop Arrest Camp. We gave the facilities there a rating of 4 out of 5. There's a shop and a restaurant, laundry, swimming pool, gas station. Campsites start from around US $20 per night, a hut from $26 a night, and you get a bungalow from about $74 a night. There's no safari tents at this rest camp. We stayed in a hut with two single beds, it was air conditioned, had a fridge, there was no utensils, there was a braai, communal ablutions and a communal kitchen. Your other options are camping where you have of course your uh, powered campsites, a braai, communal ablutions and cooking facilities, the bungalows are ensuited with air conditioning, kitchenette or a communal kitchen. A lot of the camps have these little critters and they will break into your tent or car if you leave anything open. They will steal your food and they will poop everywhere. So if you're not looking for a mess, make sure you lock up tight. Thoasabi Rest Camp. We gave it a five out of five for facilities. It's got a good shop and restaurant, laundry, swimming pool, gas station. You can camp there from about US 23 a night, a hut from 45 a night, safari tent from $72 a night, and a bungalow from about $98 a night. Now we didn't stay at Lower Sabi. Um, we made a mistake and probably should have stayed there rather than at Pretoria Scott. It's a much nicer camp and would have been much more enjoyable. Now your camping options are the same. Your huts have uh, fridge, air conditioning, no utensils, communal ablutions and communal kitchen. Safari tents have two single beds, fridge, overhead fan, communal ablutions and a community kitchen. And your bungalows have uh, two plus beds and uh, air conditioning with a fridge and kitchenette. Cuckoo's a rest camp, which is basically Kruger HQ. It gets a five out of five. 
It's got a good shop and two really nice restaurants. There's a laundry, swimming pool, gas station and there's actually a bank at Skakuza. You camp there from about $20 a night, a safari tent from $45 a night and a bungalow from about $80 a night. We stayed in a safari tent, it had four single beds, a fan, fridge, no utensils but it did have a bride. The communal ablutions and cooking facilities, 24 hour boiling water, electric hot plates and washing up facilities. The restaurant there, the Cattle Baron Grill and Bistro, is a really, really nice restaurant. Great food and very reasonably priced. As are all the restaurants throughout Kruger, you'd think you'd be paying uh, top dollar because it is a tourist destination, but you're not. They are very reasonably priced and the food, for the most part, is as good a quality as uh, you can expect. If you only have a few days in Kruger and want to base yourself on one spot, then I'd recommend Skakuza. The facilities in Skakuza are very, very good. It is also the base for a lot of the private Kruger safaris where you can be picked up and dropped off. Tan body tented camp. It only gets two stars, but we loved it. It's really quiet, very secluded. There's no restaurant, there's a basic shop at the Orpen Rest Camp, which is about a 10 minute drive from Tambody. You can check in at the Orpen Rest Camp because there's no check-in or any facilities at Tambody. And a tent will cost you from about $42 a night to 110 for a nice uh, luxury tent. We stayed in the basic safari tent with two single beds, fan, a fridge, a braai, and no utensils. Communal ablutions and a communal kitchen. The semi-luxury safari tents come fully equipped with shower, fridge, cooking and braai facilities. Satara Rest Camp, we gave a 4 out of 5 for facilities. It had a good shop, it's got a restaurant, it's got a pizza and a takeaway. There's a laundry, swimming pool, gas station, campsites start from about $17 a night, bungalows from about $80 a night, and there are no safari tents in uh, Satara. We stayed in a bungalow which gave us three single beds, air conditioning, fan, fridge, ensuite, kitchenette with microwave, hot plates and braai. The other options are the uh, camping with the power, braai, communal ablutions and communal cooking facilities. Tarba Rest Camp, we gave it a 5 out of 5 for facilities. It's got a good shop, nice little restaurant, laundry, swimming pool and a gas station. You can camp there from about $20 a night, safari tent from $40 a night and a bungalow from $72 a night. We took the bungalow option, three single beds, air conditioned, basin, fridge, no utensils and a braai. Communal ablutions and cooking facilities, here they had 24 hour boiling water, electric hot plates, microwave and washing up facilities. There's camping and safari tents uh, which give you your normal communal uh, cooking and uh, ablutions. All of the safari tents, bungalows and cottages within Kruger come equipped with sheets, pillows, towels, soap, so there's some things you don't need to pack there. However, as I've said before, utensils are probably a good thing to bring with you as is a little picnic basket, especially if you're stopping for lunches along the way too, you want to be prepared for that. Latava has an absolutely beautiful outlook from the restaurant and you will often see wildlife wallowing around out in the river out the front. Very nice. 
Mapani Rest Camp. We gave the facilities here a rating of 4 out of 5. Mapani's got a good shop and restaurant, has a laundry, swimming pool, a gas station. There's no safari tents at Mapani, but you can get a bungalow from 74 US per night, cottages from about 86 per night. There's no camping at Mapani, but you can camp at the Senzi Rustic campsite, which is 7 kilometres from Mapani. We opted for the bungalow and we had two single beds, two bunks, ensuite, it was air conditioned with a fridge, kitchen and braai. The cottages have an ensuite, air conditioning, kitchen and up to three bedrooms with a lounge, dining and braai. The camping at uh, Zenzi, you have to check in at Mapani because there's no reception or other facilities uh, at the campsite. Also, just be aware there's no power. There are communal ablutions and cooking facilities, but of course they're going to be very basic. Mapani has a very, very nice pool area and after a heavy morning of uh, wildlife sighting and safariing, it's really nice just to chill out by the pool for the afternoon. Shing Wenzi Rest Camp, we gave it a 4 out of 5 for its facilities. It's got a good shop and restaurant, laundry, swimming pool and gas station. Camping starts from $17 a night, huts from $36 and bungalows from $62. There's no safari tents. Now we stayed in a bungalow with two single beds, air conditioning, fan, fridge, ensuite, communal kitchen, braai and their utensils. Some of the bungalows do have kitchenettes. There is camping in huts with uh, basic communal ablutions and cooking facilities. Pundamaria Rest Camp, located up the north end of Kruger. You got a 3 out of 5 for facilities. It's got a basic shop and a very small restaurant. However, the restaurant is quite nice. There's a laundry, swimming pool and a gas station. You can camp from $17 a night, a bungalow from about $62 a night, and they have seven semi-luxury uh, safari tents from about $72 a night. We stayed in a bungalow with two single beds, air conditioning. The air conditioning was excellent. It also had a fan, fridge, ensuite, kitchenette and communal braai. The safari tent has two single beds with shower, fridge, cooking and braai facilities, camping with your normal facilities there.